frightening. And my reaction was to um, distance myself and somehow focus on the turkey on the ceiling versus the razor blades. So that's what happened. It's not, um, I don't ever think about when I'm writing, you know, I should be funny here or not funny there. I don't. It just comes. It, yeah, and um, it, it just comes. I probably have my mother to thank for that because she um, you know, got me writing at a really young age, so it's a process I'm not really even aware of. I get asked regularly questions all the time, and I never have a good answer. Yes, sir. Yeah, I like your brother's book, Look Me in the Eye. Mm -hmm, my brother. I'm wondering about the most memorable Christmas the two of you had, you and your brother. Um, our, what was my most memorable Christmas? With your brother. Oh, I don't remember. You know what I mean? He, he was always just locked up in his room, um, and I would just eat his candy out of his, out of his stocking. <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, one of, one of the most memorable was, um, well, which is actually in here. It's either the first or the second one. I got in my head, um, my mother had some magazines laying around. I had to do something that related to Christmas constantly. Up in those last horrible days until the day. Everything I did had to pertain to Christmas, even if it meant looking through my mother's magazines. Woman's Day at the pictures. And one of them had a foolproof recipe for a gingerbread house, and I thought, oh, okay. I'd always loved um, being in the kitchen. I loved Julia Child, and I loved the kitchen. I despised the rigidity of recipes. So I made this little gingerbread house, and, um, you know, it just went wrong on so many levels. It was a little